woman was killed on Monday night after a hit and run in Springfield. This is raising more concerns of street racing and pedestrian safety within the community. 22 News reporter Kiara Smith joins us live in Springfield with what one city official has to say about this. Nick CR, what happened on Monday night was a tragedy and it all stemmed from careless driving, which is a recurring issue in the city of Springfield. After a deadly hit and run, the city of Springfield is still trying to crack down on deadly pedestrian accidents caused by speeding. On Monday night, 36 year old Christine Andrews of Springfield was killed after a hit and run on Boston Road and Berkshire Avenue in Springfield. According to the Springfield Police Department, 18 year old Nathan Colon was driving down Boston Road here when he then struck the pedestrian and then kept driving away from the accident. After being hit by the car, Andrew's body was thrown into a fence at St. Michael's Cemetery. The suspect is now being charged with leaving the scene of a personal injury crash, causing death and motor vehicle homicide by reckless operation. On Tuesday, he was arraigned in the Springfield District Court with a bail set at $10,000 cash. Springfield Mayor Sarno told 22 News that city officials are doing what they can to put an end to these types of accidents that are caused by street racing. We do a tremendous amount of uh, non, you know, not to speed education. We do warnings. We have the signage out there. We have patrols that are out there. We make, uh, we make stops. We give out citations. But we're finding that eight out of ten of them or so, it's important to me, from judicial, are getting dismissed. He says the judicial system needs to stop letting the youth off the hook, especially when their actions result in death. But a lot of times we're not getting backed up from our judicial system. And I, I just not, cannot believe uh, that this individual is out on bail right now. No rhyme or reason, horrendous driving record. And that's why some of these things in our judicial system need to be taken uh, much more seriously. Sarno also says that drivers need to pay attention, stop speeding, and take responsibility for their actions. Now, this is an ongoing investigation, and Cologne is set to be back in court on October 3rd. Working for you live in Springfield, Kiara Smith, 22 News.